the Ford Tornio 1.6 Grand Connect. Quite a long name, quite a vehicle. At 359,600 Rand, you're getting a lot of vehicle for your money. A seven seater, believe it or not. Engine puts out 110 kilowatts, 240 newton meters from a 1.6 turbo. So, certainly, you've got a nice bit of power. Lovely feature on this is sliding doors on both sides, so it really makes life much, much easier. It is one of the EcoBoost range of engines from Ford, so their latest technology on engines, and I think that will make a big difference as well. Big, spacious vehicle, very square as you can see, and I think that makes quite a difference as well. Lots to see on the inside. Let's take a look. In the driver's seat, lovely control position, nice high seating position, which is very good as well, so you've got lots of view. You've got a multifunction steering wheel with all your controls for your sound system, for your multimedia, for your cruise control, and even your telephones, they're all there. The multimedia screen as well, and the keypad, which is made to resemble a cell phone. Very nice and useful over there as well. Six-speed automatic gearbox. Does have a sport mode, with no flappy paddles but it has an override if you do want to use manual mode over here shift up and down using that button over there dual zone climate control as well which is an important feature something very interesting on this vehicle is if you put into reverse gear and you take a look up there you'll see your reverse camera is actually in your rear view mirror very clear very concise as well plus in the center screen, you also have the park distance control units as well, so they do have those. One other very interesting feature that I quite liked is an additional rear view mirror over here for you to keep an eye on activity or anything that is going on in the back seat of the vehicle. And talking about the back seat, let's move there and take a look at exactly what life is like for passengers in the back of the vehicle like this. And coming around to the back very wide doors as you can see climbing very very comfortable and very easy headroom i don't even have to comment on another big feature on the titanium specification version which is the top of the range is the very large panoramic roof doesn't it isn't an open sunroof but it does have an electric shade that can slide across if you want to cut out the glare or the heat from that roof over there but lots of space for three people in the middle row of seats of course there are more you pull a le uh, on over here, drop that seat down, a little bit of contortion involved in climbing into the back seat, but once you're in the back over here, take a look. Two very, very adequate seats right in the back. Lots of room, seat belt safety all here, and lots of reg leg room for you, even if you are the one relegated right to the back of the vehicle. Obviously, in seven seat mode, you have to understand you don't have a lot of boot space. But, if you can want to take less passengers and have boot space, you can drop and tumble these seats right at the back, and of course, you have as much room as you'd ever want. So, at 359,600 Rand, a lot of vehicle for a family, for a business, or for some kind of transport company.